we're looking at once again is the idea that they're duplicate recessive epistasis where part of the chromosomes, if you have a big C and a big P together, what are you going to get? So nice that you're all responding. Purple, purple. Purple, thank you. But if I have a little C, little C, or a little P, little P, I'm going to get a what? White. White. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> all right, so let's do this. I could, I could put this into a Punnett square right here like this, big C, big C, little C, little C, but I know many of you are getting smarter and smarter by the second, and you know that that would be big C, big C little C. I could do the same thing with the P right there. I got big P, big P, uh, little P, little P like this. I'll put the lines to make sure I know that that's a little. Those are all little, so I got four big P, little P's right That's So I fork it off. I got four big P, little P, and that, wait, I should ask this question. Am I done? <laughs> Am I no, done? No. What do I do next? No. Multiply. Yeah. Multiply. 16, big C, little c, big P, little p. Am I done? No. What do I do now? Phenotype. Phenotype. What do these look like? 16, 16 purple. <laughs> All right. Let's try, uh, let's try this one. This one is a purple, this one's a white, because I see that right there, I know I'm gonna have four big C, little c. I'm gonna fork these off, two big P, big P, two big P, little p. So that means I have uh, eight big C, little c, big P, big P, and eight big C, little c, big P, little p. Right, am I right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do these all look like? Purple, purple. what do these all look like? Purple. purple. Are you, are you not paying attention? <laughs> Why are you not paying attention? Do you, think, do you think you just already know all this information? Are you serious? <laughs> Pay attention, boy! Pay attention, boy! Okay, stop filming. <laughs>